Welcome back to another episode of To Have and To Hold. You're probably going, who are you and what is To Have and To Hold? Because it's been a minute, right, babe? Yes. It's been two years. Two whole years. Yes. And we're going to get into that because it's been a while, um, even though it's, it seems like it's zoomed by. But one thing that hasn't changed is us still toasting. Mm-hmm. We're still under World Ablaze, um, and so you'll notice uh, some new changes with our podcast platform that to have and to hold along with the other different podcasts like PPK and Sons of Thunder and Q&A with Father J are all underneath the World of Blaze podcast umbrella. And so we hope that is a benefit to you. Um, but let's get to the toast, shall we? We are toasting to... New beginnings. New beginnings. Restarts. Restarts. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. So... Yes, you want to share about... It's, it's been a while. Yeah, so about this time two years ago, mm-hmm. since the last podcast episode I think you had was in August of 2020, uh, we were in the midst of recording another episode because we've you know, been pulled to this direction to uh, really leverage this pat- platform, if you will, to, to really help marriage and family, the domestic church, and people who are discerning the marriage vocation. And um, so we're in the midst of it. We're having a good old time. We're, you know, had a groove on because we, we had a surprise for you in, in that specific episode. So there was music involved. There was dancing involved. And then voila, we found out that something wasn't right. Right. Yeah. I think the film crew and the audio guy screwed up because the episode actually didn't record. Mm-hmm. But then we found out that the film crew and the audio guy is actually me. Mm-hmm. So... What a disappointing, discouraging, defeating moment mm-hmm. where we had such a great time recording that. We gave it some, th- you know, uh, some prayerful thought of what we wanted to present. And then, boom, just like that, we were yeah. deflated. Yeah. I think that the hard thing about starting out, because you could think, well, why didn't you just restart? But there's a lot of factors that come into play, a lot of human factors. Yeah. One that I think about is that, um, you know, the differences that we have with regards to recording and how it should look and um, how the use of cameras and how many cameras we should use. True. And so now we have the help of our son to help with editing so we don't have to worry about that so much. Yeah. The other thing I think is the differences between temperaments. Mm. And some of us feel more comfortable with cameras than others. And yeah, are you... I do. I didn't know you were going to bring that up. Like, you know, we talked about temperaments and how you're super extroverted. And, and I love, all, I love all the cameras. Yeah. yeah. Just kidding. So, um, you know, when we started this, it was really an ask to, from couples to walk with them. Yeah. And I feel very honored to do that. And I love working with couples. And so in my prayer, I said, Lord, if this is something that you want me to do, then just as we test out a charism, um, you'll provide direct feedback. And the direct feedback can't be from you. Right. Right? Right, yeah. So it has to be from couples with a, with a share. People receiving this, right? Yeah. Right. And so I'm grateful to all, all the positive feedback we did receive. And, um, but I'd say that after that last episode and it didn't work out, it was really hard getting our bearings. And I just thought, ugh, I don't know if I need positive feedback anymore. Maybe I need another sign. Oh. So anyway, I was, so it was probably about mm, six months later, I want to say. We still haven't done it. Still on my heart, trying to discern whether this is something I should pursue or not. And I remember walking with a coworker. And so here we're walking, and she doesn't know that I've been discerning this. This has been part of my prayer. And we pass by this establishment and a woman comes out and she's, she recognizes me from this podcast. And she says how she loves it and she wants to hear more and she can't wait and how exciting. So you know who you are (laughs) and thank you for that. Um, But I have to apologize to you and to all others because it was exactly what I needed to hear. And I thought, what is it about the podcast that could help? And it was really in terms of, because it was 
providing such a positive message, mm -hmm. if I gathered this correctly. It was, we are providing a positive me message for married couples, mm -hmm. and it was different, or just couples, it was different than what they were receiving from other sorts of medium. Mm. And so that was encouraging. And so I thanked her, and then as we continued our walk, again, unbeknownst to my coworker, she turns to me and she says, that was a sign from God. And I thought, okay, here I am seeking a sign. You and, were a sign seeking generation. And here this lady approaches and then my coworker who doesn't know says this is a sign. So um, I wish I can say that I took that information and then we started recording right away, but we didn't. And um, I think that oftentimes there's some certain things in our humanness that can get in the way of things that we're trying to figure out whether this is God's will, part of discernment. Is, is this God's will or this is not God's will? Mm -hmm. But there's also, as you're in the spiritual life, we can get derailed by you know, other human factors, the enemy or whomever, so that we don't do, we don't bring out a positive message or bring couples closer to God. And so, um, just wanted to talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, this has been kind of back and forth for us as a couple, right? And so part of what we're bringing to you all is really, uh, I guess, a rawness and a, and a realness about, you know, we're not perfect. We're trying to figure out what it, what, how do we fit into God's divine plan for the world and for us as mm -hmm. a couple, mm -hmm. as a family, as individuals within marriage and family life. And to have and to hold is, is we've kind of been back and forth on it. Um, like you said, we have different temperaments. Um, and so, and we approach things differently in every kind of way. So in a lot of ways, um, and we've talked about this, even just, you know, the devil can even pounce on that, mm -hmm. take a good intention and try to use it to separate us. Because mm -hmm. we're both focused on doing God's will, mm -hmm. but to use uh, the nuances of setting up, right? Or, mm -hmm. you know, you alluded to it at the beginning of this, like we have a different perspective on the scene and the setup and the audio and the video and how many cameras and, and all of that. And we see it differently, mm -hmm. right? And that doesn't mean that um, we're, we're intending to have conflict or contention when it comes to this, but just recognize that the devil can jump on that and, and he can mm -hmm. somehow convince us or dupe us into making that the, the thing to worry about rather than the, the you know, focusing on the feedback that we have received, that you received personally, people mm -hmm willing to come out and run out and confront you and say, hey, I, I appreciate what you're doing. And for those that have commented, those who've reached out to us in private message, um, those of us who've come in our you know, own familiar circles to say like, hey, I really benefit from what you guys have to offer. But that discernment, it doesn't, while that's helpful, it doesn't mean that the discernment's always easy. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean keeping, uh, you know, moving forward is, is always easy and straightforward as we'd like it to be. Because there's a tension, there's a struggle with us doing it, aside from our own temperaments and our wounds and our blind spots and really just life, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you're trying something, I think um, that takes you out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. they naturally, you know, you may make excuses as to why not to do it because, you're, you're, because it is out of your comfort zone, something mm -hmm. you're not used to. At the same time, it could be a wonderful opportunity for growth. Yeah. And so, when you're discerning whether what it whether it's God's will or not, I'd say there's certain things that maybe you can consider, things that I had to take, I had to consider myself through the process, which is it is does it help you to grow in faith, hope, and love? And so doing something like this is really is a matter of faith. You know, we want to be able to walk with couples, to learn from, you know, our our own experiences, even our own mistakes, and hopefully bring all of you closer to God, have a healthy, healthy marriage, healthy relationship. And so, you know, we, we really trust in God and, and help us do this. We have confidence in Him and hopefully grow in charity for, you know, one another and uh, for all of you. And so that's one of the things I think that we should consider when we're, when we're discerning. The other thing too is I just um, encourage all of you 
to really concern, prayerfully discern what God may be calling you to do, something outside of your comfort zone. And during these times, we may say to ourselves, you know, the enemy may share um, obstacles or what we, we think are obstacles with some false reasoning. Mm -hmm. And so to be mindful of that, to hear that dialogue and, and share that with your spouse because your, your spouse could clearly see with the emotion separated, right? Can see a little more clearly as to whether this is really, is this truth or is this a lie? and help you discern. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think dialogue and communication is important, especially as we, you know, when you think about discernment, really discernment is not between good and evil, it's really between two good things that are good. Yeah. And so when we're focused on doing the will of God, and, and this is what we saw is to have and to hold, again, we're, we're going to be attacked. You know, the, the devil doesn't want us to, to help marriages heal. He, does, he wants to see the family fractured. He wants to see it destroyed so that he can destroy the souls of those as a part of the family system. And so I think that communication, the talking about it, like what, what is it about um, whatever it is they're doing, in our case, even film, what is it about that brings us a level, maybe a certain level of anxiety, mm -hmm. discomfort? God is calling each and every one of us to step out, put out into the deep, mm -hmm. right? And to step out of the boat and to stay fixated on him. And just like St. Peter did, it's, uh, it's real easy when you stay fixated on God. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you're focused on Christ and, and, and he is your, you know, North Star. Mm -hmm. And then the minute we take our eyes off of him, which is often, mm -hmm. um, if you're us at least, mm -hmm. right? Then we start to, oh, wow, I'm, 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 I'm walking on water, now I'm treading water, now I'm drowning. Mm -hmm. right, Lord, save me. Mm -hmm. So I just think, you know, as a couple, um, and for the couples out there, and those of you who may be you know, single, discerning marriage, communication between each other about those struggles, about those concerns, those fears, those worries, mm -hmm. um, the discomfort. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, doesn't mean that just because you're uncomfortable, we stop. It's still uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Getting to this point mm -hmm. wasn't easy. Right. Right. To get even to even to get back to getting back to mm -hmm. to having to hold wasn't right. easy. Right. Right. So it's just continuous with the um, communication about it, but it really requires a lot of vulnerability in order to do that. Mm -hmm. And so making a safe place for one another to be able to communicate that, not diminish the other person's feelings mm -hmm. or their thoughts, but really listen to them, attend to them, mm -hmm. and allow the other person to be heard. And through prayer, you know, um, looking to see what sort of, again, information that you could receive through prayer, through spiritual readings, through, I mean, homilies or what have you, in order to piece it together and try to figure out what is God placing on your heart. Mm -hmm. And if he's placing it on your heart, then he's not going to abandon you through the process. Mm -hmm. So he'll continue. Not give you the means or the grace to be able to carry it forward. Correct. Yeah. Yes. I yes. think one of the things I wanted to, to bring up just came to my mind was during this process as well, during this kind of two-year gestational period of birthing to have and to hold again, um, it, it was interesting because, of course, you knew that I was game about doing it, but I realized that there were struggles. And so when there's those differences between us and how we approached it, um, again, we had different life changes in our life as well. But I don't know if you noticed this, but I, I really, as a spouse allowed for us to just kind of walk and sit in it, right? Allow you to be uncomfortable and kind of work through it, pray through it, and then also offer up in my prayers and, and my sacrifices for you to say, all right, Lord, if you want it, you'll bring us together in it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean we've had our different discussions about it. And before, whereas I think in some of my own woundedness, I may have just tried to push it through or see it forward and not really consider it or see it from your perspective and not allow for God just to work in you. Mm -hmm. If it's God's will, it'll happen. Exactly. But it's God's will, God's timing. Right. So I think that's another thing for you out there is also to be not let ourselves be duped by the evil one to um, not be patient and loving and kind and compassionate with your spouse when you may seem to be off on something that seems to be God's will, right? We can't just be like, well, God's asking me to do this. You know, we need to just kind of muscle through it and punch through it. There's an evident flow to, mm -hmm. to all of that. So mm -hmm. I think I wanted to, it's just something that came to my heart and my mind right now when I was thinking about it. I was like, you know what? And part of this process mm -hmm. was just 
praying patiently through it and saying, if it'll happen, it'll be on your heart like it's on my heart and God will bring us together because we're one flesh union. Right, yeah. right, yes, that's an important point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think too, sometimes when uh, we want something so badly, then we try to control it. Mm -hmm. Like you said, push through. Mm -hmm. And so then we're white knuckling it. Mm -hmm. And really it should come from a, a, a place of peace. It should be guided by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And so it, sometimes it takes a while to get to that place. Again, we talk about different temperaments. And mine is I'm a slow processor. Mm -hmm. So it takes me a long time, two years. <laughs> um, but we're all different. So, mm -hmm. uh, and I, you know, I appreciate your patience and all of it, but I'm also appreciate all your patience and being with us, remaining with us, supporting us and all those, the, the positive uh, feedback I did receive from you wasn't unnoted. It's in my mind, it's been in my prayer and, um, continued to come up during prayer. So I appreciate all of that. And because we want to walk with you, we do want information with regards to how we can best help you and support mm -hmm. you. So if you could share, you know, concerns, maybe topics you'd like us to address, we're happy to do that. Again, we're going to hold you into prayer. We ask that you do the same for us. Yeah. So on that note, make sure you comment, you like, you subscribe to our channel. And again, as Nicole stated, reach out to us, help us help you. Right? We, we don't have all the answers, but God and the church does. And so we like to be able to walk and journey with you in your marriage journey in order to be better sons and daughters of God and better spouses to one another, better parents, better grandparents. We know a little bit about that. Um, and, and just, you know, to be better disciples for Christ. And so let us know. Reach out to us. You know how to get a hold of us. You can go to worldofblaze.org. You can fill out a contact. You can, you can email us. You can private message us. Just reach out because we want to be able to make this meaningful and fruitful for you. So as Nicole stated, we'll be lifting you up in prayer. We'll continue to do that and for all of you out there. Continue to pray for us and continue to answer and discern God's will in your life. So may God bless you and keep you. And we'll see you on the next episode. God bless.